I think this follows on very nicely from Mark's presentation, which to me was all about change and quite radical change. And it also talks to the theme of the conference, because what I'm going to be talking to you about is how JISC is itself confronting its own reality at the moment and some of the change we're going through. And I know there has been lots of discussion, questions, speculation, what is happening to JISC. It's, things are obviously happening. What is happening? Well, I'm going to try and clarify some of that to you. Um, so what I'm talking about is how JISC is reshaping and how we are continuing to focus, but even giving more focus to customers and community. And I would see you people in the room here and, and the people who come to this conference as very much part of the JISC community. I think we see that through through the presentations we've been hearing about, through many of the sessions and so on, and how we plan to do that differently in future. And I will explain part of the reason why this is needed. Um, and it's partly because JISC at the moment is not one reality. There are many JISC realities. And if you talk to your finance officer, <clears throat> or your librarian, or your vice chancellor, or your IT director, or your learning technologist, or your you know, member of teaching staff, or your student, they will all give you a very different reality about what JISC is or might be. They have a different perception, and that's because, at the moment, JISC is not a single organisation. It's a number of different organisations that do different things. And what we're trying to do is pull that together to make it more coherent, so that's what I'll tell you about. So, Tech, just what is JISC? Well, as we know, technology is at the heart of what we do, and I'd say at the heart of what we all do. Um, we're in a context of rapid, rapid unsettling change for the UK education sector. Um, Mark, the context for his talk there about <laughs> don't never miss a good crisis, that's what we're talking about here. The financial situation, the changes to the fees regimes is just two of those things. JISC is also changing radically. And we've got an opportunity with the change we're going through to create a new, more focused, and more effective organisation. We've been on a journey, and we're still on that journey. A cliche, but it certainly feels like a journey, I think, from where myself and colleagues are sitting at the moment. So there was a review of GIST done in 2010 into 2011, uh, which was called the Wilson Review. And that was done by our major funder, the Higher Education Funding Council for England. Um, I, could, I could go through the whole report for you. I'm sure you'd rather I didn't do that. It's available online. Uh, many of you will have contributed to that, and thank you for doing that. I've just picked out three key things, really, about what the Wilson Review said about JISC, what its customers and communities and funders want. So they want a simpler organisational structure, rather than there being many JISCs. So, for example, Janet, JISC Collections, BUFEC, Adina, Mimus, CITIS, Yukon. There are just some of the faces of JISC you may be aware of. Um, there are many, many more. So, you know, you can see it's not a single entity at the moment, um, to be focused on sector priorities and to be easier to understand and engage with. Okay, so now none of those things are particularly exciting or interesting. What I think was very good and positive about the Wilson Review in particular was that it said, actually, JISC is needed, it's doing a good job, There's this, our sectors need the stuff that JISC does. Um, we want it to continue, but what we want it to do is to work in a clearer, more coherent way so that its customers understand what it's doing, why it's doing it. When they want to ask a question about JISC's, or the stuff JISC knows about, whether that's about learning and teaching systems or whether it's about using the network more efficiently or can they open, pe people open it to commercial providers, for example, they know exactly who to go to to get a question answered quickly and, and effectively. Um, so building on from those three key points from the Wilson Review, there's been more work done to actually go out and talk to people and find out what they, what they think and what, what, what is their perception of the many GISCs at the moment? What, what do they see GISC as being? And, and I've got a few slides here that give you some of that, that feedback from market research interviews, um, lots of consultation that's gone on really. And I think these are some of the key things that, that mean that, that explain why GISC needs to change. So, if you can read those on the slides. JISC needs to be, to be more joined up and united. There are too many brands. JISC focuses on too many things. Some become invisible. Um, JISC is too complex and fragmented. Some people say, what's JISC? I've heard of them, but how do they actually help me? What's the value of JISC to my organization, to an institution like MMU or another organization? What, what is the real value that all those bits of JISC are bringing to me? JISC should, should act and behave more as one organization, etc. Just, oh, and one I think is very important, JISC needs to be easier to do business with. Well, that's a really important point and one that needs to be built upon. Um, 
and looking at, at customer and community needs in particular, here actually are some of the things that people said they really want to see GIST doing. So things that, they, uh, that are core to them and their business as a college, university, a skills provider. What do they, how do they think GIST should be able to help them? So help me work with the most appropriate research tools, help me create new revenue streams, help me deal with real-term cuts, help me attract and retain the best. Interesting, because you think, what, is technology a part of that? Well, okay, maybe it is, actually. Um, help me with the practi practicalities of embracing innovation in my institution. Well, exactly what Mark was talking about there. Help me manage even greater demand for those institutions that are lucky enough to expect that. Help me to stay ahead of changes in education and technology. Help me achieve more and do more for less, help me create a better student experience for all, and help me market our organisation better. So they were some of the key things that, that came out of that, that research. What do people want from GISC? So how we're responding to that market research and, and the Wilson Review recommendations is that we're looking at a new structure, new governance, and a new focus. So yes, definitely radical change, you could say. At the moment, JISC funds several different companies and sub-companies, but the actual JISC, J-I-S-C, is not actually a legal entity. And I mean, we don't need to get into the boring detail of this, but it's, if you look at the history of where JISC has come from, it's a committee, actually. And although myself and many of my colleagues you know, consider ourselves to work for JISC, I'm actually employed by a university that does that on behalf of JISC. And because JISC has kind of grown quite organically in response, actually, to the needs of its, its sectors, the people it's supporting, it said, right, now we need to do something about e-learning, as it was then. You know, Now we need to do something about the environment and IT. Now we need to do something about research data. It's kind of added those areas areas to its work without necessarily looking at how that fits with the companies, the, the Janets, the GIST collections and so on, and, and, and creating a really coherent structure. So what we're doing is we're, we're at the moment working to put in place a new simpler organisational structure um, which will have single coherent plans for things like communication, for customer support, for community engagement, for how we work with people. So rather than all those bits of JISC, each doing their separate work in those areas, which is what happens at the moment, we'll be working together on those things. And there's a heck of a lot that's been, of work that's been going on in the last year. Um, I won't go into all the boring detail. I'm very happy to speak to you later if you want, but you know, you can imagine that the complexity we're going through with starting from where we are. We're working towards a launch of the new organization in 2013. This slide gives you a high-level overview of, of where of the, some of the things we're going through there. You can see the inputs at the top. The next thing, the next layer down gives you a sense of, of the time scales working towards new organization with a new strategy in 2013. But some of the things we're going through are, you know, setting up new entities doing full business reviews of all JISC's business, um, which is a very big task to do, to prioritise that, then to design the new organisation and actually implement it. So th there's, there's a lot of work going on. In terms of governance, um, the, the way JISC has been governed in the past has been through uh, a, a very similar to a kind of college or university structure with a set of boards and subcommittees. Some people potentially in this room were on some of those subcommittees. Um, what's, what's going to change is that rather than JISC being um, controlled, if you like, by its funders and then people from um, you know, our sectors coming bottom up to influence those ideas, um, there's going to be some quite different change there. So there'll be, there's, in terms of legal changes, we'll have unified strategic management. Um, we're going to strengthen the relationship with our sectors by having a stakeholder council to, with representation for all of our parts of community. And most importantly, I suppose, our sponsors, our owners, are now going to be Universities UK, Guild HE, and the Association of Colleges. So rather than it being funders sitting on the board who, who are kind of making decisions, it will be those organisations who are, of course, representing you as sectors. Um, so I think that's really quite a positive and important change, really. Um, so to say a few things about the new organisation and how we think it will be different, well, again, market research has said what is important, how we want to work differently is about consistency. So. Um, these are things that we really think are important to see in the new organisation. We want to make things easy to understand, understand the work that GIST does and how it applies to, to the people in the sectors. We want to be clear, we want to be consistent, we want to keep things simple and not overcomplicate. We want to be able to 
be more agile and respond to as, as issues come up from technology, from you, from your concerns, to be able to actually do things about those more quickly. And to, I, th I mean, I hope continue a focus on quality. I think quality has always been important to JISC, but to really ensure that that works through everything that we do. Um, and, and we have this, this quote in the bottom corner, which is we've got to really keep up keep up to speed with, with your needs as, and, and technology change as they're happening. I think also, though, make sure we don't go too fast. And I think Mark's point was interesting there about, you know, how fast you can be moving in technology and how long it takes to change an organisation. And that's one of the things JIST needs to do better is to, to signpost clearly, you know, according to where, where a customer is, these are things you, you might find useful. This is how we can help you at this stage in your, your development. Um, and I think, again, this is a really important point about the future of JISC, and it's this focus on both customer and community. And, and that, com you know, this is all language, and we think, well, how important in that? It is really important because we want to make sure that people who are using, say, the Janet network, they are customers of that network. They are paying in part for that network. They need good customer service. They need that to be good and, good and, and even better than it is at the moment. But we're also part of a community, and we're working with people in projects in, in um, the way that, you know, we engage with people um, in making our work possible, really. So we're part of the community as well as providing service to the community, I suppose. Um, and, I mean, the last point on the slide, I think, very important is that we need to be innovative in everything we do. And, again, I think that's something about innovation in the future in JISC. Rather than perhaps it being seen as one part of JISC, it needs to be in everything JISC does. And that uh, the ongoing refresh and update of, of everything we offer um, is done coherently and, and cohesively. So we're working towards a new strategic vision, um, which will be launched in 2013. Um, and just to give you a sense of what might be in there, four pillars of activity, digital infrastructure and technology, digital content and discovery, advice and guidance and futures, but also a number of cross-cutting themes. And these themes are still emerging as we're talking more to people about what they want and how we're going to prioritise activity in the new organisation. But certainly, we expect there to be Three, at least these three themes of student experience, supporting research, and enabling digital institutions. Um, and to find out more, there's um, an email address you can subscribe to, an update that we send out um, termly, if you like, on, on where we are with this information. There's more on our website, um, but just do get in touch with any questions and so on. And, you know, kind of please watch the space, because as things are emerging, as the new entities and so on are being set up and established, then we're going to all be putting quite a lot of new things in place. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Sarah Porter. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>